You know, the sense right now, Steph, is that the White House is waiting to see what the Senate comes up with. Today is going to be a very important day to see whether or not Harry Reid and uh, Mitch McConnell can strike some sort of deal, not only that gets through the Senate, but the big question mark is still what's going to get through the House. There, everybody's telling me we need to wait for the markets. What I've seen in the markets is real panic Sunday afternoon. We opened. It was down, but not that big deal. And we've actually had a modest recovery in the last hour. Why? That's certainly not what White House officials were expecting or necessarily wanting this morning. They want they some were drama. All, they were all bracing for there to be some negative market reaction. They think that that's going to be the fire uh, to light under everyone. Yeah. Do you think we're going to see President Obama today? I remember late last week, I'm looking at my BlackBerry as guys on the street are saying, I saw Obama speak. Looks like we're going to have a six week extension. It's going to happen four days later, three days later. Nada. So the way that the White House thinks about this, they don't want the president to go out there unless there's anything to say. And right now, it doesn't look like But hold something. on. Do you think he's well, had something to say the last three times we've seen him on TV? <laughs> well, look, I think that what you could see is something cobbled together at the last minute to hear from the president. Maybe like they're seeing something from him in the briefing room. Remember a couple weeks ago, he walked down uh, to a sandwich shop on uh, Pennsylvania Avenue, and it was a chance for him uh, to make some comments on the fly. I think you're more likely to see something like that. I wouldn't rule out the idea of a primetime address sometime in the next few days before we get to the 17th.